This is actually filling me with fear a little bit because it's actually going to be quite tricky, so it's, it's quite daunting because I have to take it apart to actually clean it. I don't want to disturb or lose any of the, the photographic image of, of Kathy. I think this is probably just plaster, a little bit of animal glue, but I think that these bits are just going to pick off. I've also got all this sort of damage around here that someone's tried to restore. I really don't know what. This is almost like rubber. See, this just bends. Yeah, that's just going to come away now. There is going to be some trial and error, but this holds so much emotion for Sandy, I'm going to have to proceed quite carefully. Having separated most of the old repairs on the cherished decorative plate, Kirsten's about to tackle the join that goes right across the middle. I'm going to proceed really, really carefully because obviously there's so much sort of emotion tied up in this piece. What I'm first of all going to do is see if I can just remove that excess adhesive with some acetone on a cotton wool swab. I would expect for the old adhesive to actually start to soften if it was going to um, react to the acetone. It's still actually sounding quite brittle. I'm actually going to see if I can ease the, ease the pieces apart. This is actually quite exciting. Um, the first stage appears to be happening. Oh, actually, look at that, goodness, right before my eyes. I have success. So these other pieces here are actually going to be a bit more tricky because they are much tighter together. I'm absolutely delighted that this is now in pieces and I can move on to the next stage, which is just cleaning all the break edges and getting it ready for bonding. I'm actually quite looking forward to getting it back together and starting to see Kathy's face coming back. So there's something slightly stopping that from going together. So it might be that I've actually just missed a tiny bit of adhesive. I'm just going to have a, a close look. Now it seems really pernickety, but there is something stopping that from going together. There is no point just thinking that'll do. I need to get that better. It's amazing, actually, you think, oh, you'd be able to see something with your eyes, but actually your fingertips are so sensitive. You put something together and you can almost feel that actually it just isn't quite right, which is why I don't like wearing gloves when I'm working, because you just you need that, that sensitivity with your fingertips. Right, let's see if this goes together better now. Yeah, it's fine. That's good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, ready to um, get sticking. This is really fiddly. This is kind of almost hold your breath territory. There we go. It's a really nice feeling when there's a kind of locking feeling where everything aligns and suddenly this very fragile piece of ceramic regains its strength, it becomes whole and it becomes strong. 